what is up guys we are back with another video and today we got a little special vehicle today um it just dropped it off greg from core dropped it off but we have ruts project corolla in shop we're gonna go ahead and get started on this thing um it had some roof rack on it that we went ahead and took off already we went ahead and took that off and we're just gonna go ahead and remove the wrap on the roof so luckily it's a bit sunny um it's gonna help with removing the wrap so we're gonna go ahead and remove this wrap and then we're gonna go take it around back and get it all washed up all right so we got everything cleaned up we got it taken apart you gotta do some more deep cleaning since this car looks like it did sit for a while and it was previously wrapped a little bit more work than expected we had to take the fenders off which typically i don't do the previous shop that did wrap it they did use a lot of um adhesion promoter and a lot of unnecessary areas like i would never put a adhesion promoter here they put it like like under the hood it looks like it or on the fenders they did it as well um possibly under here possibly here where there's a lot of like gunk on the fenders i'm not sure if they did a full door jam job but they wrapped it like this and then they still came over well at least not on this one but on this fender it kind of doesn't make any sense as to why they did it the way they did because this thing wraps all the way inside which makes no sense but under that got a bit of primer around here get a remove or some adhesion promoter all right so we're gonna go ahead and um get this all cleaned up and prep get a clay bar still remove all the adhesive and get to wrapping so we're gonna go ahead and do that a little update with the car there's more there's a bit of more um questionable stuff that was done to this car by the previous wrap shop like it just doesn't make sense and it's making my job a little bit more annoying and difficult because i should be already wrapping this vehicle to be quite honest is the amount of adhesion promoter that was put on this car they've literally put adhesion promoter on every single edge of the car like i can it's so sticky here and i know that's not leftover adhesive because this is more like an adhesion promoter and it's on every edge it's even even on this edge there's clearly a nice little streak mark where they probably got a brush and brushed it on and they're like yeah let me brush some adhesion promoter because i suck at wrapping and i can't get it in there but yeah i just want to come up and speak some little words if you know what you're doing, you don't need a adhesive promoter. You don't need to use that primer any for, like, I barely use it. And that's only probably use it on, like, deep channels when we do commercial wraps. But, dude, it's not even a deep channel. You can feed it into this stuff. So I'm not sure what they're doing over there. Whoever ended up wrapping this car previously. It's unnecessary. Like, just post heat and you should be fine. But I just wanted a little vent a little bit about this car because we're about another day be or say we're a day behind with the extra prep work that needed to be done on this car. One eternity later. So we got the car fully prepped, clay barred on jack stands. I'm gonna wrap the quarter panels first before I put the fenders back on, just so I can be able to get it, tuck it in here pretty good. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and get started.
But we got this side fully complete. Got the quarter panel, gas door. We got the um the hatch done, or at least the bottom half of the hatch. We still got the spoiler due on it, which has gonna go black. I already clay barred that, prepped it, ready to go. Threw my little inlays right there. I did realize that I'm gonna have to go up higher because the trunk has a little divot in it, so you can see red. So we're gonna have to go higher. I'm gonna go ahead and start knocking out the rear bumper. So that'll be it for this video. Let us know what you think. Really digging this color with the whole black accents. Really worked out pretty good. Um, we're gonna pick it up later this week. I really like it. Um, and now, I guess let's get on to the cinematics. Don't forget, like and comment and subscribe.